Hello everyone, this is Khalil Shaheen from NCS Training Center. We are a training center located in Toronto, Canada, and we are specialized in Microsoft Dynamics Business Central Training. We teach official courses for Microsoft Dynamics Business Central Training that are designed by Microsoft. We have online training and we have on-site training and these are the list of courses that we teach now today's subject we are going to cover a subject that is already covered in the inventory management course so let me jump to the application and i will show you how we can do a physical inventory count for items in specific warehouse so the first step is to use the search here and i have to search for a page called physical inventory journals so let me open this page and you see it will default to the batch journal which is a physical inventory journal now here this is a typical journal that is used for counting inventory the first step that you have to do is to delete any lines if there were any lines that you don't want to post you have to delete them by going to manage and delete you select the lines using ctrl a and you delete them but only if you don't want to post them and the second step would be to, to go to actions and from functions i will calculate the inventory now here this is the calculate inventory filter report or the options that i can select to calculate the inventory so i want to give it a document number for example physical inventory 001 you can give it any number for the document number and you can either enable these options for items not on inventory if you want you can enable this option this will specify if journal lines should be created for items that are not on inventory do you want to include these items that they are not inventory if you don't want then you have to select enable this option and the second option is to specify if journal lines should be created for items that are not on inventory and are not used in any transactions so you can enable this option for include item without transactions if there's no transaction for this by dimensions this is very interesting option here because you can select here any dimension you want to to do this by for example i want to calculate the inventory based on specific dimension based on area or customer group or department whatever dimensions are available for me now also you can filter on specific item numbers from this number to this number or if you want to do inventory for range of numbers for items from this number to this number and you can use the pipeline and from other number to other number do you want to limit this generation by by location what i mean here is that if you want to do an inventory for a specific location you can put the location here for example i want to do an inventory for the blue warehouse i can select blue warehouse here and you can do inventory for a specific pin if you have if you are using pins and you can add any filter that you want okay that's enough for now just to show you what will happen when we click ok so the system will generate the inventory for these items in the blue warehouse that i selected using the filters and this is the the calculated inventory 
and this is the inventory that I will count. For example, this item here on the first item, when I counted it, it's not 11 units that I have. It's 13 units. So the system would automatically do a positive adjustment for this item and the positive adjustment would be two pieces. Why this item, I counted it and it was 114 exactly. But this item, it was one piece that I counted. And this item, I counted 45 for example. So the system will do automatically negative adjustment for this item. Because I counted less than what the system is giving me and you see here if you scroll to the this side here you will see that there's positive adjustment there is negative adjustment based on what i entered here on the count that i entered and these are the quantities that will be adjusted the only step that is remaining for me is to post the journal and this will affect my inventory so the inventory will be the inventory that I put here in this column for the items in the blue warehouse only. That's it for today. I hope that was useful. And let me know if you require any courses or if you require the full training course for inventory management. This is Khalil and have a good day. Thank you. Bye.